More women and men are using laser treatments to look younger and get rid of unwanted hair. Well, in most cases, it works wonderfully, but people can get burned, literally, with devastating results. To new science, Stephanie Harris is here now with what you need to know before booking that appointment. Stephanie. You guys, these treatments are really so simple. You can have them done on your lunch break and then go straight back to work. But lasers are not magic wands, and in some cases, they can scar you for life. This is Angela Walker before laser surgery, and this is Angela after. She would turn her head or put some, a magazine over her face. She couldn't even let her mother see her. Angela had a fractional laser procedure done in Virginia Beach to get rid of wrinkles. It created these craters and destroyed fat cells, leaving the former model's face sunken, her spirit crushed. She just gave up hope. Angela was only 39 when she died from an aneurysm, but even the autopsy noted these deep, open sores. It's like airplanes or anything else. You know, you can have a mechanical problem. They're very rare. Pilot error is more common. Dr. David McDaniel at the Laser and Cosmetic Center did not perform Angela's laser treatment, but has been called on to fix medical mistakes like hers for years. He notes as laser technology improves, burns like these are less common. I think we're seeing a lot more of the, you know, somebody got laser hair removal and they look like a leopard spot. Using the wrong machines or wrong settings for the person's skin type can lead to this. McDaniel says a common problem is using an older machine on skin of color. The key to not getting burned, do your homework. If you ask the right questions, you'll usually be able to get the answers you need. And if someone can't answer them, that is an answer in itself. The Virginia Board of Medicine makes it easy to check out your doctor's education, experience, and any judgments. And there are websites where patients share personal stories as warnings to others. I just tell others that be grateful for what God gave you. Now, Angela never filed a legal or professional complaint against the doctor who performed her laser treatment. We looked him up and found no judgments or reprimands from the medical board. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.